Good morning guys, I am Sandeep Kumar Reddy from Ingenious Competitive Training Academy. Whoever is watching this video, I had already prepared 6 videos of previous year original questions compiled in all these 10 videos. I just want you guys to have a look and let me tell you whatever the videos I am making. If you want the this PDF printout, you can see this. This is a general science whole PDF printout as well as we have general knowledge also total of near about 1060 questions and even ABCD also explained if you want you can take the books we have various books you know about that army practice sets all in one everybody is aware of the pictorial explanation book which are very important for all examinations we have something called as trade related whoever is applying for crpf bsf whatever the trade exams we have this is something called as army nursing assistant this is ssc mts ssc gd as well as chsl previous papers this is army gd examination book and as well as tradesman book which are previous year original papers have been given army clerk also we have you can directly go through that this is something called as army technical examination book and we have SSC GD examination also and besides this we have something towards Coast Guard domestic branch and 20 years every book has got 20 years mock test papers railway police force related examination book and this is something called as Indian Navy related and that is tradesman examination book guys so we have uh, something Navy MR examination also this is Navy MR examinations all these books air force y group so these are all the original books which have questions have been compiled from various exams you can directly go through that let us start before that whatever the questions have been given which of the following is not a gland let me tell you liver which is the largest gland in our human body when it comes to kidney it is not a it is a functional unit in our human body that is the kidney and pancreas here stomach will not be a gland rest all we can see how exactly the importance of organs red planet mars is known as red planet you know the blue planet that is earth pluto is no more planet it is a dwarf planet and let me tell you the venus which is known as morning and evening star again we have the hemoglobin which is the main component because of this hemoglobin the blood is red color and this pigment will help in transporting the oxygen from one place to other place the main function of hemoglobin is to transport from one place to other place if any wrong with the carbon monoxide that directly absorbs by hemoglobin and the oxygen cannot be transported here we have something towards in teeth we have that is dentine this dentine is made of calcium phosphate you will find maximum in bones as well as teeth we have something called cardiac muscles which are the softest restless muscles we can tell you will find in heart the weight of an object would be minimum when it is placed very important guys at the equator the weight will be lesser when it goes to the poles the weight will be more ozone gas we know the chemical formula of ozone is O3 this helps in checking or obstructing the ultraviolet rays and infrared rays from the sun the heavenly body which has its own light is known as example star sun is an heavenly body it has got its own light in the case of moon it is a satellite natural satellite which has no light because of the sun only we have the light so next we know this comet we can see every 76 years Halley's comet 76 years 
duration that Halley's Comet can be seen. Galaxy is a group of stars. Now we can see the type of nature of curd. Lemon, they are all in acidic nature. You should know about curd, yogurt. They are all emulsifiers. We know the potential of hydrogen is less than 7. They are known as acidic in nature. If it is 7, it is a neutral. More than 7 is a basic in nature. Now we have the shape of the earth. We can't say that is exactly round. It is something called as oblate spheroid. The planets which are which are revolving around sun is known as elliptical shape. The planets they revolve around the sun. So that is in elliptical shape. You know parabolic. Parabolic is if you throw a stone from the building, it falls in a shape is like this. It's like a rainbow. So that is one shape of parabola. So you can see that parabolic shape. The color of the leaf is green because we know that the green has got the color that is chlorophyll. Green. This chlorophy is located in chloroplast. And we can see the element called magnesium in that. Rest, xylem, phloem. You should know about this. Transportation of water. Sorry, transpiration of water takes place in xylem. Translocation of food takes place in phloem. Very important, guys. Normally, if men breathe, the stomach comes out. This is one very important. When women breathe, their diaphragm comes out, which has very important for the women. Their diaphragm stretches. This is to be remembered. The chemical formula of calcium hydroxide, CaOH twice. If the moon moves from earth to moon, if a man moves from earth to moon, then the weight will be. You know about it. If I am 60 kgs on earth, if I go on moon, that is divided by 6. 60 upon 6, I will be only 10 kgs. I will be floating very easily. If it is says, what about the mass of me? That remains same. If the mass of me is here, the same, then I will be in moon also. The mass is same. But weight varies. That is the difference. You should know about this difference. Very important. Mass doesn't change place to place. Weight only changes. The chemical name of iron, we used to call iron as ferrous. It has been obtained or extracted from the hematite. Restol, you should know about Mg is magnesium, Rm is gold. Next we have Hg is mercury. Now we have something called as the good conductor of electricity. In home domestic purposes, we can't use silver, which is a maximum conducting capacity you would have but it's a costly thing it can't be used anywhere so we use it copper is the one which is the good conductor after silver that is the reason <coughs> we use copper for domestic wiring where alternate current exists bauxite it is an ore of aluminium cuprite is an ore of copper Chinnabar is the ore of mercury and hematite is the ore of iron or ferrous. You should know the invention of penicillin. Penicillin, ampicillin, these are all antibiotics. So the invention of penicillin made by the Alexander Fleming. The process of fermentation or pasteurization process invented by the Louis Pasteur where curd uh, curd is formed from the milk now i want you guys to comment me in the section antony von lewin who is famous for what and edward jenner also the denial of compass indicates the direction of we know that we have the compass i think you have seen the compass so whatever the compass we have that needle always indicates only one direction that is north 
so very important all these questions are previous year only so don't underestimate them now the opposite of north is south so rest directions can be easily figured it can be used in the maneuvering or any kind of navigation purpose when the metal is heated then the density of the respective metal will become less see you should know about den mass density is equal to mass upon volume if we heat the metal the weight of the metal always gets lesser so because density is equal to mass upon volume when the density is decreasing mass also decreases so it is directly proportional to each other so very important guys you can see wherever the iron is getting heated the automatically the weight of the iron gets decreases the vitamin found in carrot and mango that is the retinol guys which is very important you will find this in carrot as well as mango and we have something called as calciferol very important it's a calcium related uh, it's a uh, good for bones and we know that vitamin d is known as calciferol tocopherol is vitamin e phenylalanine is vitamin e we have something called as bamboo is a type of grass you should remember the bamboo what exactly we can see in china maximum bamboo is found so it is grass only now we can see stem potato is a stem as you can see tuber it is a example is a onion so now i want you guys to what example is root nodules you give me the examples of root nodules the maximum diffuse element is the nitrogen guys which directly evaporates faster and it can be used for the purpose of preserving the chips rest we can see osmium is a metal and oxygen we know about that what exactly the importance of oxygen and we have various isotopic forms and we have something called as monoxide oxygen o2 that is dioxide we call it as o3 trioxide that is ozone hydrogen is the lightest element in periodic table now we have refractory index of essential oil that is measured by the carat meter you should remember this refractory index is maximum for the diamond and even we have the purity of the gold it is 24 carats there are different different diamonds with the great carats the better the diamond is the best you you find the carat so the carat meter is the one the rest all milk purity can be identified by the lactometer it works on the specific gravity of milk we know that it floats in milk that float of law of flotation given by the archimedes principle now we have something called as refractometer which is irrelevant we have something animo animo means wind so animometer is to measure the wind speed now we have air quality index very important guys that pollution measurement is done there with the along with this air quality index only tista is a seed coat we can call it as outer layer of the seed is known as tista very important rest we know that weeds you can see on top of a uh, lake the grass is uh, moving or any canals you can see the grass is moving that unwanted grass in the crop also we have various uh, unnecessary crop which are grown so that is example of weeds guys when it comes to boat we know that kayaking kayak it's a boat fungi mushroom is an example where you can see anaerobic respiration means without any oxygen when it comes to boomerang you know about jungle mogli has got one v shape weapon that is known as boomerang so you should know all these things irrelevant things can be eliminated you can insert the answer very easily the instrument to measure the viscosity of liquid first of all you should know about viscosity 
the thickness you can see viscous liquids with the more thickness if i say example we have honey it has got viscous nature you can rub like this you can see the more thickness if i say petrol it is less viscous so this viscosity can be measured with the help of viscometer <coughs> now we have dobson spectrometer we also known as dobson unit i want you uh, you guys to tell me this dobson unit is measured for what i want you guys to comment me celiometer is the device used uses a laser or other light source to determine the height of the cloud ceiling or cloud base very important cloud density is measured in octa okta okta very very important i want you guys to go through this question okta okta is the unit of cloud so with this celio celiometer we can directly measure the height of the cloud ceiling when it comes to photometer the strength of electromagnetic radiation you can see so as well as ultraviolet radiation or the light strength can be easily measured with this photometer when it comes to perihelimeter it is for the direct beam of solar irradiance with the field of view limit to 5 degrees also known as dni direct normal incidence so perihelimeter for the strength of the sun can be measured and we have something called as manometer the pressure of the gases can be easily measured the one is used to make the sun glasses you know about that photochromatic lens which are very helpful for making sun glasses we also call it as shades we can normally see them in black color this is something called as teflon we use for the coating of utensils in non stick pans where the coating is done with which it is very easy and uh, we can do the fry very easily so it doesn't stick it's a non stick thing actually when it comes to kevlar we know that bulletproof jackets are made with the kevlar suit only asbestos you can see the fire fighting clothes whoever the fire fighting rider fire fighting um staff we have they use these kind of asbestos suit for uh, fire fighting clothes when it comes to pvc polyvinyl chloride doors we you can see in the bathroom areas where this pvc doors are used it is made of polyvinyl chloride plaster of paris we know that it is normally we put for the bandage whenever there is a fracture it is made of gypsum guys see one topic the whole questions have been given that is very important i want you guys to listen properly these 20 videos makes a lot of difference from the below that regulates the temperature or thermostat of human body we can call it as the main function of hypothalamus is to control your human body temperature which is a normal temperature that is 37 degrees or 98.6 fahrenheit that has to be maintained that is very important the adrenal glands main function is to control blood pressure very important we have 120 by 80 because of this adrenal glands which are on top of kidney only when it comes to children's gland you can see for the children you can see in center not here it is thyroid it is in center in children's we find thymus by growing there with the age the thymus will be lesser in size so this children's gland we call it as when it comes to pineal gland the main function of the pineal gland is it secretes the hormone named as melatonin it is not melanin guys melanin is a component which is there in skin the more melanin the blacker the people so melatonin is the hormone which is secreted by the pineal gland now we have something called as kidney the main functional unit of kidney is nephron that nephron helps in purifying the blood the main 
you can say the main organ in our human body which helps in purifying blood is kidney then we have liver and other things next what exactly the function of the liver is it converts glucose into glycogen and also it secretes bile juice the whole bile juice will gets accumulated in bile in gall bladder now we have something called as pancreas very important guys this pancreas the main function of pancreas is insulin is secreted with the help of pancreas by secreting this type of insulin we have something called as sugar level can be easily maintained the more insulin it will be helpful for the maintaining sugar level now we know the cutting paper cardboard card stock and also other materials such as craft foam can cut by you know about the craft knife so this can only be done by the craft knife don't use diamond normally diamond is used for the cutting of diamond and the glasses also whatever the glass we have that can be easily cut with the the more strength of the glass the lesser the diamond size very important we have the cutting pliers the wires easily can be cut we know drilling bits to make the holes what exactly we use and next we should know the sodium we used to cut with the knife guys deficiency of iron that is ferrous leads to anemia so in our blood we have iron when there is any deficiency in iron then you will have a problems now we have something called as goiter the deficiency of iodine leads to goiter which is uh, adam's apple what will happen is the thyroid glands gets swelled now we have <coughs> rickets this is something called as bow legs you will find knockness also so because of this free vitamin vitamin d which is known as calciferol which comes from the sun rays because of this rickets as well as we have a pigeon chest all these things can be found with the deficiency of vitamin d only now we have something called as hypoglycemia this is a condition in which your blood sugar level is lower than normal so that blood sugar has to be maintained you know about our sugar level that is increases if pancreas doesn't work properly so here what should be remembered is this glycemia condition will occur then we'll have the diabetes mellitus diabetes insipidus be affected with the more sugar in your human body the part the particle of matter that uniquely defines a chemical element that is atom very important guys we can call it as a particle of matter that uniquely defines a chemical element so atom atomic nucleus consists of electrically positive that is protons and uh, we have electrons in negative nature neutrons we have in neutral conditions next we can see the electronic charge and the rest mass of 1.672 into 10 to the power of minus 27 so this is something very important kgs so we have neutral neutral nature so it has no charge electric charge and we have electrons which are negative one elementary charge now we have something called as particle definition a particle is a tiny bit of matter that makes up everything in the universe in particle physics an elementary particle is a particle which can be which cannot be split up into smaller pieces so that is the last smaller one we can't divide that so you should know the difference between particle electron proton as well as atom so everything you should know about this and you should know who invented john dalton atomic theory proton electron and neutron neutron invented by chadwick electron j j thompson i want you guys to comment me who invent who found proton the deficiency of tocopherol this is vitamin e 
it leads to we can see loss of feeling in the arms and legs loss of body movement control muscle and weakness as you can see vision problems also which is vitamin e guys normally vitamin c or ascorbic acid deficiency leads to scurvy we can see that bleeding of gums also we have something called as pernicious anemia i want you guys to comment me how it gets what is the deficiency with which it you will get this pernicious anemia nectalophia which is also known as night blindness i am very sorry don't un don't get confused with the color blindness color blindness is not with the deficiency it will it will come through hereditary heredity so don't underestimate this nectalophia is night blindness you can't see during nights normally this abnormal inability will come with the deficiency of vitamin a guys so very important you can directly go through the deficiency of vitamin a that is retinol leads to what you will have the problem in your eyesight so that is something vitamin k deficiency bleeding or vkdb so this is hemorrhagic disease of the newborn helps in clotting of blood you can see this vitamin k so it is one of the anticoagulant you can see that so normally the blood will not clot because of this heparin content the more the better the heparin you can see the blood flow if there is no heparin the blood gets clot if you have any injury there is a cut on your place so that that cut can be controlled with the help of this coagulant vitamin k when it comes to the branch of science deals with the bones that is known as osteology guys which is very important rest all rhinology means related to the study of nose pathology related to the study of blood odontology very important the study related to teeth you know about our 32 teeth that is the study odontology when it comes to dactylography that fingerprints can be easily identified and uh, the whole study of the fingerprints is a dactylography nephrology you know the functional unit of kidney is nephron so that is nephrology cardiology related to heart guys mycology that is related to fungi myology is related to muscles i want you guys to comment me whatever the tissues study is known as what you can directly comment me the study of tissues is what dendrochronology is plant rings study you know every if you cut the plant you can see the rings in it the more rings it is the merrier the life of the plant exhaustible sources are those sources of energy which will deplete and exhaust after a few hundred years are the exhaustible sources of energy example petrol it gets exhausted coal forest all this can be seen non exhaustible is like sun air which will not finish parsec means parallactic second it is a unit of astronomical distance between stars and galaxies guys when it comes to intensity of sound we measure on decibels the light intensity is measured in terms of lumen per square meter or we can call it as lux henry is the unit of electrical inductance you know the magnifying power of the lens we measured in diopter which is also known as which is denoted by d and when a drop of mustard oil is placed on the surface of the water then it will spread all around you know about uh, kerosene oil also we put into the pits where you can see that whole layer gets on top of the water then whatever the larvae of mosquitoes it easily gets killed whenever there is a mosquito sits on it it will die it will sink so that is the reason why we spray the kerosene oil now we can see sodium metal it burns or blast with the surface uh, like if we put in our uh, climate we can't directly gets uh, um reacted with the atmospheric moisture so we should not put that sodium metal in normal temperature we have to put it in 
kerosene only the graph related to brain you should remember the brain the functionality of the brain can be identified with the help of electroencephalogram so we can directly place all those uh, um, stickers all around the brain then that graph is monitored that is known as electroencephalogram when it comes to ecg means electrocardiogram guys this is very important if you have any kind of problems in your heart that electrocardiograph electrocardiogram is the one the test has to be done now we have cartesian coordinate system this is used to visualize points on graph by showing the points distances from two axes this is the main function of the cartesian coordinate system so between these two axes we can see now we have something called as bar graph like representation of data that buckets a range of outcomes into columns along the x axis which is known as histograms very important the histograms are the one they are bar graph like representation of data now we have the ebola virus which is spread by malaria you can see here uh, i just want to tell you ebola is spread by the bats ebola virus is spread by the bats which is the answer we have something called as uh, malaria also which is spread by the virus only so that is a uh, female anaphylis is the one main cause and you should know about that uh, female anaphylis is the mosquito and we have cc flies which is a sleeping sickness disease you will get with the help of with the bite of a cc fly aedes aegypti it's a dengue mosquito during daytime it bites so here we have aedes aegypti female anaphylis these are the vectors the main protozoan by which these diseases occurs we know about h1n1 which is also known as swine flu it is affected by the pig pig only when it comes to vibrio cholera with this we get the cholera disease we know salmonella typhi bacterium with this we have the typhoid which directly affects your digestive system you know rhino virus this is common cold guys restall acquired immunodeficiency syndrome aids is affected by the human immuno virus next we have the purity of gold is measured in carat i told carat meter is the one with which we can directly measure the carat of the gold or diamond so restall grams and all is for the weight purpose what is called the unwanted small grass in the crop i told you weeds are the one which are unwanted crop in the unwanted grass rest we can see purity of milk is measured by the lactometer atmospheric pressure barometer hydrometer density voltmeter potential difference the organ that filters the blood is kidney lungs is for the breathing purpose very important in respiratory system artery for the vein like transportation of blood we have something heart for the pumping of blood from every part of the body cutting of glasses can be done by the diamond which is very important rest all you should know about the what exactly the function of lead and lead is used in pencils now we have something called as platinum which is the strongest metal the deficiency of iodine leads to goiter guys very important so iodine deficiency we have so you can find in with the iodine deficiency we have this thyroid gland which is also known as uh, adam chapel so that is goiter disease rest all very very vitamin b scurvy vitamin c calciferol vitamin d deficiency next we have the fundamental particles that constitute an atom other than proton and electron is known as that is neutron guys neuron is different neutron is different please remember this is the fundamental particle in which the protons and you can see the neutrons electrons revolving around the particle next we have which of the following is used to make non stick pans i told you teflon coating is done that black one with which we can directly 
it will doesn't stick now we have thermocol why we thermocol is used for the packing purpose we can store nitrogen also in that now we have polypropylene i want you guys to comment me where exactly the problem polypropylene helpful now we have something deficiency of vitamin d leads to rickets guys i want you guys to tell me pellagra is a disease with which how it gets affected in the human body if human gets bite you will have scabies which branch of science deals with the human skin that is dermatology guys should know about physiology you can comment me psychology is human behavior and mind anatomy is a study of bones which of the following is an exhaustible natural resource that is forest rest you can see soil water and air so they are not you can see uh, exhaustible which is uh, one is non exhaustible another is exhaustible we are using soil in such a manner that is also getting exhausted so here the forest is the one which can be exhaustible which will be finished rest soil water and air we have a light year is a unit of you should know about the light year it is a unit of astronomical distance normally we have the speed of the light 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second so it is the unit of astronomical distance we can call it as when a drop of mustard oil we, we place on water it will spread everywhere as i had already discussed you know what is ecg electrocardiogram and uh, what i had given is eeg by mistaken electroencephalogram eeg encephalogram is to check the brain cardio means heart so that is one thing rest 351 to 400 we'll discuss in next video so i hope this seventh video was helpful for you i want you guys to have a look into playlist i'll give you books if you want this material you can directly take from me they are very important guys thank you have a good day have a great life